When I say yay, you say math. Yay! Math! Math! Yay! Math! When I say yay, you say math. Yay! Math! I think you have two fingers. Yeah. One more, one more. Okay. When I say yay, you say math. Yay! Math! math. A strong day butt. <laughs> As in it can like lift. Curse you, Jamo. Alright, you ready to start? Whew, get it out. Okay, that was good. So I'm gonna send you. On the top of your paper, we have examples of a quadratic function. Let's talk about it. You can see where it says y equals 2 times x minus 1, x plus 3. Now, if we were to graph this, if we were to graph this, it would have two x-intercepts, okay? The two x-intercepts are when what occurs? Yes? y equals 0. When y equals 0, very good. So we can put that down x-intercepts, put it over here, x-ints, when y equals 0. Stuff we've written before, which is fine. Okay. What's another word for x-intercepts? Zeros. Zeros. Solutions. Solutions. Let's put those down. Zeros. Solutions. I think it's on your paper already. Zeros. Solutions are roots. Okay. And so, like uh, Cornelius said, <laughs> okay. can't we're not going to say his name, so we're just going to call him Mr. Cloverleaf. Okay. So, as Tampa Bay said, the x-intercept is 1, y equals 0. So, how can we change this equation up? Yes, again? You foil. What? You want to foil? No. Oh. If I wanted to find the x-intercepts, what would I do? Yes? Make y zero. Make y zero, so let's oh, rewrite that. Sorry. Zero equals two x minus one, x plus three. Okay. And now, do you agree that whatever x equals, those will be the x-intercepts or the zero solutions of oh. roots? These are all interchangeable terms. Mm -hmm. That whatever x is will be those points because we're setting y to zero. So let's go ahead and do that. How can we solve this algebraically? Simplify our life oh, yeah. first by? Divide by two. Yes, mm -hmm. dividing by two is a good example of how to simplify. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to divide both sides by two. In effect, what happened on the left? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. So I'm going to write zero again. What changed on the right side? That canceled. The two's canceled indeed, leaving with x minus one, x plus three. Negative foil. We don't foil now. You solve. Don't foil now. Solve the by two. doing what to, what do we Make do? Make them each like oh. Right, right. What are these, what are these pieces called? Parentheses. Um. They're in parentheses, but what are they called? It starts with an F. Um. No, good friends. thinking. Functions. They are friends, <laughs> not functions. But for... What, this is the result of doing what to the equation? Factoring. Factoring. So these are called? Factorials. Factors, not factorials. Factors. Factors, I think it's a good idea for you guys to write down factors in my... factory chapters. In my best uh, judgment, factors are pieces that multiply. So these are two pieces that multiply indeed. This is a piece and we have times, this is a piece. So I see two factors. Mango, what are the two Wait, factors, please? Uh, X2 minus one. What? X2 minus one. Well, I mean, like... What's one factor? Oh, X2. No. 2X. No? Wait, what do you... Oh, We have the giggles. Oh, we have the giggles. <laughs> no, she's crying. She's not laughing. We have the giggles. No, X minus one is one of the factors. Yes, that's what oh, I thought. I thought you meant, like... <laughs> That's one of the oh, you equal it. Oh, I can't. <laughs> we need to pause and collect. No, okay. All right. So x minus one is one of the factors. So x, x plus equals three one. equals one of the factors. Yeah. So we set the factors to zero. That's all. And so we get x equals, equals one, one and x equals negative three. Very good. 
x equals 1 and x equals negative 3. Mm -hmm. So what do 1 and negative 3 have to do with the graph, please? It's going to be the two points where the parabola will hit the x um, axis. axis. Very good. So we can go ahead and do a mini sketch for ourselves. 1, 2, or here we go, negative 1. No, it's negative 3 and 1. Oh, negative 3 and negative 1, thanks. Negative 3 and 1. Let's fix that. Here and here. Right. And most likely, do we know already, does this parabola open up or down? It opens up. It opens up. How do we know? Because it's 2x squared. Because the positive a over here, if we were to foil this out, this would be a positive function. So the vertex is somewhere down here. Yes? Um, from this, can we figure out what the vertex is? Because you see the line, the, the axis of symmetry is the... Is actually going to be right between them. Yeah. Yeah. So we do know the axis of symmetry occurs right between them. But we don't know exactly where, and we would have to plug in that point to get it. Or negative b over 2a, which is something we've done already. Yes? But it's OK to like get sort of just like the bottom half of the loop. Mm -hmm. OK, so we're not really asking for vertex right now. But if you wanted to get the vertex, you'd have to solve for it traditionally, negative b over 2a. Oh, so you just want us to plot the points? I just want the solutions. I just want the solutions. X intercept, zeros, solutions, or roots. For now. Later, we're going to do vertex and solutions together. However, if you know a parabola is perfectly symmetric, you know that halfway between negative 3 and 1 will be the point negative 1. So your vertex is somewhere over here. And so you can plug in negative 1 to get y. All right? So, but that's another issue. Let's go back to this. Are we comfortable with what Mango said? She said that if the factor is x minus 1, the solution is x equals 1. Is that what gave you the giggles, Mango? No. <laughs> For her? OK. <laughs> OK, so I'll be sure to use fruits again in the future. So the question is, it's OK. You'll let them, they'll get over it. They'll get over it. What if I did this, though? We're comfortable with the fact that x minus 1, the factor, leads to x equals 1, the solution. Yes. Let's do that. So what if I gave you the solution x equals 1? What would be its factor? Yes? Negative 1. What? Minus the 1. factor would be x minus 1. Because what happened to go or to get to here, you had to have x minus 1. And what was the factor of this? X plus 3. X plus 3. OK, on your paper, you have some examples. Some solutions are 3 and negative 5. Solutions of 3 and negative 5. I'm going to write it. Well, that means good job. You're getting it. Solutions. Solutions 3, negative 5. OK, so what was the factor to make a solution of 3? Anyone, everyone? X minus 3. X minus 3. Equals